Hey all, Matt here with the Maya Learning Channel. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to get any version of Maya back to a default state. This is useful since Maya features a fully customizable and modular UI that, while useful for optimizing workflows, can also make it easy to lose certain buttons or editors in the process. For example, I can drag the status line higher in the UI to make it easier to see instructions for whatever tool I'm highlighting. It's also possible to completely remove UI elements using this process, which is handy to tidy up UI space of things I don't need right now. But what if I did some of this by accident? Or what if I just want to get some of those closed widgets back? Well, the easiest way is to go up here to the workspace dropdown, where I can choose to reset the current workspace. This returns everything back to the defaults. Just a heads up though, different workspaces have different defaults. They're each designed to maximize screen space for the designated task. You can also turn various UI elements on and off here in the display menu, or in Windows UI elements. Occasionally, you may need a more complete Maya reset. This might be necessary if you're experiencing odd behavior in Maya's tools, or if you changed a setting that you forgot about and is now negatively affecting your workflow. For example, even after resetting the workspace, there's still this width glitch in my toolbox. When things like this go wrong, you can use a process called deleting your preferences to return Maya back to a state it started in when you first installed it. But first, I'll need to close my current session. Next, I'll need to navigate to one of these places on my hard drive, depending on my operating system. Once here, I can either delete this preps folder, or even just rename it if I think I can figure out the problem later. Then I'll restart Maya, and choose to create default preferences. And once Maya starts up, it'll be back in its default state. This won't tamper with or otherwise impact your working files in any way, so feel free to do it whenever your UI becomes a mess or tools don't react like they should. 